we're not breaking the law by going to church. The law of the land, the highest law in the land, the Constitution of the United States guarantees us freedom and liberty to worship our God. The people who are telling us we can't go to church are breaking the Constitution of the United States. And it's illegal. We are legal. We're not lawbreakers. And we're going to have church on Sunday. And if they come in and drag us out, let them drag us out. If we don't stand up for our liberty, we won't have liberty to stand up for. We've, I've heard, always heard the cliche, freedom isn't free. Well, now it's not a cliche, it's real. It may cost us something. Ultimately, eventually, I have faith in our government, and I believe we will get a constitutional ruling in our favor and against whatever government New Jersey says you can't have church. It's just ridiculous in this country. If we don't have the courage to stand up with what a little bit of consequences we have, after they showed the courage they have, feel sorry for us. Freedom costs you something, and, and this is where it's happening right now. Let me say this to everybody. We're a church, and we never have church without preaching Jesus Christ. I was a 30-year-old construction worker with a bad gambling habit. And I went to a Bible-believing church, and they preached the gospel. They said, you trust Jesus as your Savior. He'll forgive your sins, and he'll give you eternal life. And I, I got saved. I asked the Lord to forgive me and save me. And God changed my life. I've been preaching the gospel, this book, for 45 years. And I'm going to, if I'm in jail, I'll preach it. Bunyan was in jail, the author of Pilgrim's Progress. He preached out of jail. The apostle Paul was in jail. He preached out of jail. I ain't afraid to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, but I ain't backing down. Our church ain't backing down, and there's churches all over this country aren't backing down. God bless you.